Adam Silver get put in the box a little bit? He was the younger one. Did to he me, he had the, the weird dad, Mel. <laughs> like, I, oh, I remember like that episode. They actually put you in a box. Yeah, yeah. Yes. Yeah, they decorated it. It was a nice box. It was box. a very special yeah, yeah. 9021. It was a very special They made you like the yeah. younger one that was trying to come up with them. I just yeah. felt like David Silver was always a little more, should have been a little more than they let him on to me. Is that just me? I don't, I don't know. <laughs> I, it, see, it seemed to work okay for 10 years. So yeah, I and it was, you were my favorite. Like, Thank absolutely. You. It was, Thanks. I was, I didn't, I didn't think they did anything wrong with you. I think it was perfect. Everything you Thank did. Thank you. See? I there loved you go. it. Listen, no, let's go back. The dad, Mel, your dad, Mel, got yeah. uh, Donna mm -hmm. Martin. She almost didn't graduate. He gave her the champagne. Right. Uh, I do feel like you were the favorite because um, Aaron Spelling made you Tories love it, right? So I think you were singled out. I just meant with yeah. the fellas. You were the younger one. Yeah, and all that. yeah, no, the fellas all, all had their own thing for sure. I was much more uh, David and Donna. But I think, I think that's why the character was popular because he was younger and it was it was sort of a young love like romantic relationship. Oh, I know. remember prom night. Um, and it, they based it a lot on your real life. Did that bother you? Because you were singing and DJing and it I thought did, that part yeah. was so it cool. Was, it, was hard, it was hard for me as an actor to separate, you know, what was what was my stuff and what was the character stuff and it was it all became a little more jumbled together than than I would like because than, it was, than was comfortable. It was basically you're playing yourself in some respects because you were only certain aspects, right. but but yeah, it was that stuff was really close to me. Like I grew up playing music and doing all that and then the writers saw me dancing at some like a rap party and then all of a sudden, you know, they're writing David singing and rapping and all that and and dancing and it was like it was started becoming a little too much like like myself. Oh, I had such a crush. And when I think back then, because I mean, this was... You had was such a crush on who? On you. Oh, on, you. on David Silver. <laughs> she just says that randomly. No, but, yeah. but you yeah. like, like the, the hip hop, yeah. hip -hop crush. in the days. But I think about y'all a lot because we're around the same age. No social media. Yeah. Because when y'all hit, it hit so Dude. big. Do you yeah. ever think back to what could have been? Yeah, I don't think... Well, I don't think the show would have survived for 10 years during this time now because the internet didn't exist so people couldn't Beverly Hills was this area that you didn't know a lot about right and so people believed us yeah <laughs> we, you know falsely but, but maybe, maybe, I was a girl right. in Burnsville Minnesota yeah. watching that and going that place looks magical yeah, Beverly, they, <laughs> they all drive amazing cars they have, and they have, have, yeah. I, you know it yeah. just it was like in the color seemed brighter totally Everyone yeah. just they definitely yeah, the had sun was amazing tanner. yeah totally. nobody was pale and just eating a lot of like True. mushroom soup yeah God, where do they find those clothes? <laughs> where do they, they no find idea? those clothes? Do you remember, was there a moment when you knew it had hit? That yeah. like your life was changed? What was that moment? Yeah, we, uh, the, the cast did a, uh, a cast thing at Disneyland for grad night. And we were following um, <sighs> Wilson Phillips and another bad creation. And, and, and so we, we were on this stage that comes up out of the ground and we thought, we could hear the sound up above, and I thought, oh, Wilson Phillips must be doing, like, another song, right. you know, do it. And, and the stage came up, and it was for us. And that was when I realized, like, oh, all these kids are watching. Like, this, this must mean something. So. Um, how is it being married to one of the most beautiful women in the world? It's pretty awesome. Megan Fox. I mean, guys, come on. <laughs> it's it's just, uh, <laughs> does it, uh, it's just something, like, the mention of her name, women and men, you just love her. Yeah, she's, like, uh, is it like looking into an eclipse yes, every day? Like, sun. it sort of it <laughs> yeah. burns your eyes? It does, yeah. I've gone blind at this point. <laughs> <laughs> she's just so stunning. She's, uh, you know what? She's stunning, but she's an amazing mom. She's an amazing person. She's really intelligent. We have, we have a really amazing relationship. So, uh, it's and we've been together for a long time now. I, mean, I like y'all's relationship. I think it's been a great Thank partnership you. and Thank marriage. You. And yeah. I like how I like any marriage that's real. And there's always sort of ebbs and flows with uh, with hanging on. There tight. are marriages. Marriage is hard. I mean, you know, it's twenty it, years. It's, twenty years. Today is my twentieth anniversary. Happy and anniversary. Yeah. Yes. Twenty right? years. That's right? amazing. And I think you gave him the best gift. You admitted your crush on live, on television to Brian. Yeah, but I flubbed. I got nervous in the beginning and said you're putting the box. I just was nervous. <laughs> I know, but I'm just saying, what an anniversary gift. It's all right. We'll we'll write life. that into the storyline uh, now. Do any of your kids have the acting bug? Do any of them want to? My oldest son, Cassius, the 17 year old, he loves acting. He loves theater. Yeah, the 17 year old. Wow. No, crazy? that's not true. And what are it's you true. doing? Yeah. We don't, we're not objectifying you, but gosh, you look good. He, well, I, you know what? I'm going to say it, Thank but you. we are objectifying you. 
um, just a little bit, but you are. You're a very handsome guy. But water. I believe, I believe you that it water comes from Water and within. access live mug. That's the key. You can steal the mug. And it's I think dancing does keep you in really good shape. Speaking, Speaking of, of dancing, dancing. Uh, David, look into the camera and roll this. What we found. Not David, Brian. I'm nervous. Oh, jeez. Oh, is this uh, Soul Train? Soul Train! Look at you! Amazing! Vanilla Brian. Huh. Come on. The sweatsuit? This is the name of my second album, oh, Vanilla Brian. Oh, right there! <laughs> Soul Train, that's incredible! Yeah, it was fun. It yeah. was, that was really cool. That was, there were, there were a few things, um, in my career looking back on that are cool and that that's one of them so because there's not a lot of white rappers especially <laughs> that, uh, that were on that yeah and i remember uh i remember i performed and then i came back another time and hosted and i hosted and um you hosted soldier yeah and michael jackson's uh his oh. nephews they had a band called 3t and they performed and so i interviewed them which was pretty cool Oh my God! Look at this. Uh, congrats on everything. Thank We're you. so glad about this show and about your family life. Nine hundred two one zero. Thank you. I love it. Tonight at nine on Fox. If you love that video, you're gonna love everything on the Access YouTube channel. So hit the subscribe button. You can thank me later. Hit it now. Thanks.